Miss Sally Plass has some really exciting news, and this is about some of the students in our community here. What is that, Sally? What have you got going on? Oh, I'm so excited. This is such a wonderful opportunity. I was contacted by um, the principal at the middle school. Uh, her name is Jill Myers, right. and she has asked me to come and help some students prepare for a contest that's going on. And one, once I learned more about it and I read about it on the website and all, oh, it's so exciting and what an awesome opportunity for the students. Now, there's how many students involved in this? Well, out of the whole middle school, they will select 32 students to be in this competition. And they're going to compete against locally. each other? Yes, okay. and it will be locally. And the competition involves a handshake, interview skills, the eye contact, the smile, the networking with other corporate business leaders that they will bring in from the community right. to help judge them. And they will have some, uh, even some debates. They will have two formal dinners. Oh my so goodness. I'm going to get to so help the students <laughs> get ready for it. That's so exciting. And guess what else? The, they will choose two students right. out of the 32. Right. They get to go to Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. Oh my gosh. For the final competition. Now those two are going to compete against other students yes, in Atlanta. Yes, it will be a national competition oh, from wow. all over the United States. Oh, that's kind of big. Middle school students. But they're still, that's big. It's, it's national. It's very big. That's Oh, these yes. kids are going to learn a lot. Yes. And somehow they have managed to um, get permission and have this contest right. worked out within the school. I get to work with them and help them get prepared. And then they'll have a final competition within the middle school on December the 18th at oh, 9 o'clock. And yeah. that's when those two will be chosen. Oh, my goodness. Now, when they do this competition, is it open to the public or is it just the school and a, and a board that's going to do the choosing? Mm, I'm not sure about yeah. that. It, I may have to find out about that. I believe that it's just the school it and a board. Is. That's what I'm it thinking. Probably is. Yes. Oh my goodness. So they're going to have to sit down and eat a formal dinner and they're going to have to yes, meet and have greet. Tea. Yes. And they have to wear business professional Attire. clothes. Yes. When they go. That's so important. Kids don't know. Yes. Not, well, parents don't always yes. know what to wear. Well, our, our society is so casual now. So unless you're working in a big city or in right. a big corporate kind of a climate right. in uh, like the medical field or the accounting uh, law, for, you know, the law field, right. sometimes you don't have to you're not required to wear professional business clothes, but they will get to learn about all that. that. Is so, and you're going to be the one teaching them. Yes, yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> She's so good with oh, kids. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's <laughs> one of my favorite things to do. Yep. I think they're going to have fun. Yes, yes. And I, I think what an awesome opportunity that the principal is allowing them to do this. Yes. And she managed to get the organization work, you know, the details in place right. so that they could be a part of it. She's so excited too. She's very excited. And the school that they'll go to in Atlanta is a very innovative school. They're right. they're sponsoring this contest. Well, they'll even learn from them. Yes. When they oh, get down yes. there, they'll learn stuff from them. So that'll be even, yes. that'll be even better. They'll grow up a little bit when yes. they come back. And they'll be with business leaders from the Atlanta community there right. that will be a part of this uh, this contest. Oh my gosh. I think this is exciting. You it get is. those, you, well, if you have 32 kids that are participating in this, that's 32 kids that yes. are going to learn etiquette yes. for business and yes. and dining out and things. Yes. Even if they don't all go to Atlanta, mm -hmm. they're still going to, when they go out oh. to eat or when they go out with their friends, yes. it's going to influence yes. the rest of the school. They will all have an opportunity to do the same things and right. to learn the same things that the two going to the right. national contest will learn. And I can't tell you how important and how much I believe in business etiquette and yes. knowing what is socially acceptable, what is just acceptable in your community, right. being able to handle yourself so that you're relaxed when you go to have an interview with uh, someone that might be employing you right. or maybe a, a scholarship committee or you're trying to get into a school or you're trying to get in somewhere, yeah. those committees now, what I'm understanding, a lot of them hold it over a meal. Yes. Yes. And one of the big things is if you wait until mm -hmm. everybody's served, that means you're a team player. Yeah. If you start eating before they, then that means you are not yes. a team player. And you never, never, ever salt and pepper <laughs> your food before you taste it. That's part of that being a team player thing. Right. That employers notice about you. One thing I wanted to share is 
Yes. 85% of your job success and people hiring you and wanting you is based on your soft skills. Your soft skills include the etiquette, the eye contact, the smile, the firm handshake, all the people, the relational skills that you need. They want to hire you because you're a team player and yes. because you are a person that they like. They'll train you. Oh, They'll yeah. teach you to do whatever they need you to do as long as you are going to be a good employee. Employee. <laughs> and you have those people skills. Oh my goodness. I think you're this is going to benefit so many kids. Yes. Not just the 32 that are taking the class. Yes. Because that's going to filter out into the rest of the kids. So I yes. just, I think this is great. Yes. So I'm, now this is the judging is December the 18th. Yes. So after the 18th, yes. we'll have you come back and tell us who won yes. and who gets to go. Yes. And that when that's going to be. And then mm -hmm. after the event in Atlanta, yes. we'll have an update on that, too, as oh, to how they that, did. That would so. be exciting. Oh, that's good. I would love that. Yes. Oh, well, Sally, I think you do a great job with kids. Oh, I, I love that. I think, that. you know, if you, mm -hmm. all, if you all have kids and you have a group of kids, maybe somebody won't have a, you know, kids that come over and you have a, yes. a little group, say 10 or 12 kids that come over and have a sleepover with you. Well, instead of doing the sleepover, <laughs> call Sally and maybe do a little etiquette class and then have the sleepover. But it would benefit. I yes, think. I so. do. I think it would. And yeah. even if they complain in the beginning, they always like it. I've never had any students complain about what they've learned or about right. being with me. I always have fun with it. Well, I think some of them are reluctant because they don't know what to expect. Yes. And the boys are reluctant because they mm -hmm. don't know what to expect. But yes. And girls don't know who's going to be there. But, yes. you know, once it's they all fun. get there, yes. they always have fun. Yes, yes, yes. So. Yes, I've taught a lot of students, and I teach a lot of 4-H groups, Girl Scout groups, Boy Scout groups, church youth groups, all ages, actually, even down to preschool. Yeah. I've actually taught preschool all the way through adults. Oh, my goodness. I love it. That is, well, you do a great job at it. So. Thank you. Well, you guys, we're going to put up some information in a minute and give her your phone number and, and address and all that so you can find her. Mm -hmm. But she's also down here at the Fountain Building on Main Street on 402 yes. West Main. Yes. You can leave her a note if she's not in her office or you yes. can talk to her when she's here. So, And the con the contest is called the Amazing Shake Contest. If you want to Google it and just yeah. read about it, yeah. it's called the Amazing Shake, like a handshake, uh -huh. Contest. And it's, it doesn't just involve a handshake. Which no, we, no. Because we just covered that. It's more, a lot yes. more than a handshake. Yes. But, but that's just that's the title good. of it so that you right. could look it up if you wanted to. Right. Well, this is great. Is there anything else we need to tell them about that? I think that's it. I, I think I'm so. just appreciative of the opportunity for these oh. these students. Well, I think it's so exciting. It is. It's, it's wonderful. I just, like I said two or three times, it's just great because yes. what you teach those 32 is going to mm -hmm. filter out into the rest of that class. Yes, so. yes, and it will be with them for the rest of their lives. I yeah. guarantee it will help yeah. them be successful in their life. It will It'll definitely plant the seed for them to think that, yes. you know, realize that this is important. So. Yes, yes, yes. So. Well, Miss Sally, thank you so we much. We wish you luck in the contest. <laughs> yes, <laughs> by all means, we wish everybody good luck. Although yes. there's only going to be two, but <laughs> y'all learn it. Yes. Do your best. Yes, so. thank you. Well, I'm Debbie Crawford with Bridging the Gap. And as always, we thank you for watching. <laughs>